Hey, people with disabilities in Tennessee say the state is failing them. The Tennessee Disability Coalition released their annual scorecard and it gives Tennessee a D for the way care is provided for people with disabilities. One man tells me the state is forcing him into an impossible choice and he wants that to change. Finance executive, Vanderbilt football player, those are just two of the things Robbie Barbieri is proud he's done. We did beat Tennessee pretty bad one year and I know that rarely happens, but uh, yeah, that was definitely the highlight of my um, playing days. But his perspective on success changed after a serious car accident in February 2022. Robbie was paralyzed from the shoulders down. I basically relied on other people for just about everything. At, at first, it was very, very hard. But Barbieri says the physical recovery is only part of what's keeping him from getting back to his life. Here's the problem. Barbieri says people with disabilities like his can spend anywhere from 80 to $100,000 in caregiving costs each year. They rely on 10 care to help pay for it. But to be eligible for 10 care, you can only make so much money. Barbieri says it limits his future. Does it feel to you like the state is making you choose? It does. I realize that 10 care is forcing people like me to remain unemployed and sacrifice uh, family in order to maintain eligibility. Tennessee is just one of a few states that does not allow people to pay to have state provided insurance. Jeff Strand with Tennessee Disability Coalition says that's just one of the reasons why they gave Tennessee a D in their 2023 scorecard. We need our lawmakers to, to take a hard look in the mirror and say, this is unacceptable. The coalition and Barbieri hope this scorecard and sharing his story will encourage lawmakers to make policy change this coming spring. I want to go back and get another degree. I want to be able to pay taxes. I want to be able to contribute to society. A representative Darren Jernigan plans to introduce a bill that would help working individuals with disabilities be able to still get 10 care coverage. And we'll be following that bill's progress when the legislature returns in the spring. You can read the full report card right now by the Tennessee Disability Coalition. It's pretty simple. Just head to WSMV4, our website, or our news app.